Animal welfare activists are calling on the Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Nidhika Linturi to extend the ban on the slaughter of donkeys and export of Beast of Burden's products. Alliance of Donkey Welfare Organization in Kenya Chairperson Titus Sagala is calling for a 15-year ban to help replenish donkey numbers that had drastically reduced. Kenya exported 5.6 tons of skins and hides worth 292 million shillings last year. Animal welfare activists claim the trade of hides and skin is mainly dominated by illegal donkey skin sellers after the closure of four donkey abattoirs. Demonstrate unity with other African countries that are urging the African Union uh, member states to ban the donkey skin trade and slaughter for at least 15 years allowing for research and development of donkey production and productivity. Alliance of donkey welfare organizations in Kenya want the government to extend the ban on the slaughter of donkeys and export of its products to 15 years to replenish the donkey population that has decreased by nearly half to 1 million animals currently. The over 300,000 donkeys slaughtered generated a gross revenue of 1.82 billion shillings if only 25% of the 300,000 donkeys were working donkeys, then uh, there was a foregone revenue of 28.3 billion. The welfare wants the government to fully implement the ban. Farmers have argued that cases of theft of the beast of burden have drastically reduced after the closure of donkey abattoirs in the country and are opposed to a call by Mogotio MP Ruben Kibirok to reopen the four donkey abattoirs in the country. Funda siki tu ya kuchinjwa, ni ya kufanyia zizi gazi, kubeba maji, kubeba kuni, kubeba chakula ya ngombe, kubeba kila kitu. Utachiri yetu ndi hiko kwa bunda kwa kufanya gazi. Hawa manyama ndi wanatumika na vijana kuchotea maji na wanajipatia risiki. Kila siku. Unapata huyo kijana kupitia huyo punda anapata almost 5000 to 6000 a day. Je, tukichinja huyo mnyama tunaleta umasikini Kenya ama tunaleta faida Kenya? Besson Ruba reporting for Prime Edition.